and back to us again. Okay, what other NPC we have to yapping about? You're back sooner than I thought. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Oh, yeah. And now, it's up to us to forge ahead. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. She said, I thought we were gonna go see what we doing that off screen, really? <laughs> Since he's already carried out his last wish, my final mission is complete. But pardon me if I sound curt. It's good to have determination. The path Mikhail left for you is not an easy one to tread. Why else would he have chosen to sleep in solitude, staking everything on some nameless in the future? But you have the numbers, and in numbers comes strength. So that might just delay your inevitable a little more. Uh, got any more encouraging words? As I see it, relying on Welt's negotiations alone is far from enough. Regardless of whether the other party will be compliant, negotiating simply allows us to meet them as equals and won't grant us an upper hand. Panacone is our rival's home turf. And we already have very few chips left to play with. Rather than idly sit around while the family's got us blocked off, an offensive approach might be a wiser course of action. We're more familiar with the Stellaron's properties than most. And since it's the key to stabilizing the sweet dream, it's vital to the family's interests. By attacking their core interests, they're bound to retaliate hastily. And as the saying goes, haste makes waste. So we're gonna go at the right. stage. As long as we pose a threat to the Stellaron, either with words or otherwise, we have a chance at gaining the upper hand. But the problem is, on the eve of the Charmony Festival opening, how exactly are we going to get close to the theater? Family security will be airtight. And if we brute force it, even if we succeed, it's too risky. Hmm. So, no one's gonna say anything? Then I'll raise my hand. I know the answer to this question. <laughs> You're off, people. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Uh, you'd better believe it. So, I heard that before the Charmony Festival begins, there will be a pageant to kick off the festival. It's called the Soul Glad TM Festivity Auditions, or something, and it's going to be held in the moment of Scorch Sand. As long as we clinch the top spot, we'll be able to attain the title of Festive Superstar, and be able to personally bask in the graces of Miss Robin. Uh, not that that's important. <laughs> What's crucial is that we can enter the Grand Theater before the audience arrives. Hmm, this is so, a mild idea. How do we go about participating in these festivity auditions? <laughs> I've already procured special invite tickets from Miss Robin's fan club. Uh, to tell you the truth, I had been preparing to join the auditions all along. But now it looks like even if I scrape through, I probably still won't have the chance to shake Miss Robin's hand. So they're still running this thing, huh? It was originally just a publicity stunt, set up by Mikhail to drum up attention. But it looks like it might be worth a shot. We'll follow Marge's plan. Mr. Gallagher, will you be joining us? I'm afraid I won't have the time. As a virtual character, I've already completed my final mission. Alrighty. Whether Penacone can awaken from this dream is all down to you. Thanks for the help. Cross paths again. I'd love for you to visit the Express. All right. I'll have to add to that data bank of yours you've got on the Express. And Miss Firefly. We thank you for all your support. We're faced with a formidable enemy. As long as the Astral Express and Stellaron Hunter's objectives are aligned, 
We're willing to cooperate with you. We've already come this far together. I'd like to join you for the rest of your journey on Penacony. Oh, please, though. I'm pleased that we can finally fight shoulder to shoulder. I couldn't ask for a better ending. This is also the spirit of the Trailblaze. Now, everyone, let's prepare to move out. Well. You have no idea. It's time for South time. Excuse me, you four. What are you hoping to get out of all this? Why are you? As the last group of contestants, how confident are you in overcoming all of the challenges? Why are you some Would sounds you familiar? A brief exclusive interview with us. It'll be quick. <laughs> Your journey is long and fraught with peril. Yet under a sky blanketed by banners. You buy for the crown! The sword and rose! Protect the beauty! The huh? beauty! The beauty! Magnificent and majestic! Beauty? Oh, don't tell me we're gonna meet him again. A knight's head is hard as steel. Brother Land's focus is stubborn as a heel. We don't yeah. all have to be winners. But if we don't have fun, <laughs> we'd all be sinners. Wait, uh... Wait, they all have titles? People are pouring in. It kind of feels like all sorts of baddies are showing up. Let's get in there quickly and enter the competition. Ladies and gentlemen, please make way. <laughs> make way. Who's that, you know? Coming towards us now is one of Penacone's top ten wealthiest tycoons and the Soul Glad Business Empire's founder, Mr. I. B. Allow oh. me to introduce myself. This one, man. I'm the director of Soul Glad's factory, Hydeen Leader. My four friends, introduce yourselves to the audience across the cosmos. Mm, hello, everybody. I'm Himiko, a name no, with the name. Express, and these are my companions. <clears throat> Don't you guys need to hide your identities? I can't hide it anyways. Penacony is plastered with our posters, and because the Astral Express is so well known, the family won't dare to make any rash moves. Well, <laughs> I'm hello, <laughs> but <laughs> you call yourself out. Okay, I'm gonna try to be a little six. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm March 7th. I'm an ordinary girl who loves adventures. Hello, everyone. I'm Firefly. Mm, I am also an ordinary girl who enjoys adventures. So it's a bunch of nameless guests. This final face-off is bound to be spectacular. Time is precious. My four friends, come with me. Grab a bottle of Soul Glad and make your dreams a blast. I kind of like the, the beat.
He's time for something. This place is buzzing. That's right. This venue is a miniature representation of that time known as the era filled with boundless possibilities. Nameless, your arrival reminds me of the grand occasion when Penicone was first established. I was still a young, bright-eyed lad back then, lured here by the watchmaker's ads, full of zeal and ready to make my first fortune in life. How old is he? Once, during a particularly grueling day, I passed out and was resuscitated by a drink from Mr. Sousa. That sweet taste has since been etched in my mind, and that was what drove me to create the soul glad that we all know and love today. The dream chasing era was truly a wondrous time. Oh, I miss those days and the watchmaker. Scorch Sand Hall is my homage to that time of boundless possibilities. I wholeheartedly hope you make it to the finish. And emerge as the next superstars of Penacony. Now then, is there anything you'd like to say before the competition officially begins? Really? Will we win a deadline? Huh? Wait, is this a I think he's supposed to be a W, not a L. <laughs> That's the trailblazing spirit. How about you, Miss March? Hello, everyone. Next up, get ready for the Mega March Seventh Adventure, where I'm going to break the speed run world. For what? Trailblazing into the uncharted and challenging the limits. That's Miss March 7th for you. How about Miss Firefly? I hope that by the end of this journey, everyone will have achieved the outcome that they hope for. I hope so. Ah, <laughs> a wonderful wish. Miss Himiko, what are you expecting from your team? To not die? Although I'm kind of surprised him... No, not in my call. Miles didn't have any word about Firefly. Safety first, everyone. Okay, that's <laughs> right. Simple friend. words, but full of warmth. Waiting for you are three stages, each connected to that era. The first two stages offer two distinct paths to choose from, with unique challenges on each route. And in the last stage, you will face off against a champion who has defended the title to this very day. A beloved contender whose noble virtues are unrivaled. Those are the rules. Simple. Everyone clear? Now then, I hereby announce that the 33rd Scorch Sand Festival of the 20th season, sponsored by Soul Glad Enterprises, has started. Everyone, as the Chimony Festival is drawing closer, we must reach the end as quickly as possible. Factoring in efficiency and safety, splitting up into two groups is the best choice. No, that's a bad Martin idea. I haven't known Miss Firefly for too long and aren't overly familiar with her. It'd probably be better if the two of you paired up. Eddie? Fine by me. Let's do it. All right. I don't have a problem with that.
We'll split into the assigned groups then. Let's not waste time. Ah, I thought I gonna get Firefly demo to say character like how they did with the Lucha. But he's so high. Welcome to the first stage of Soul Glad Enterprises 33rd Scorch Sand Festival of the 20th season. Dream Play Fantasia! In this stage, you can choose between two challenges. The School of Acting or School of Action. In the School of Acting challenge, you have to complete three performances from three scripts and move the panel judges. In the School of Action challenge, you have to defeat three groups of enemies convincingly and reach the end. We take fight. Now, make your choice. Okay, um... Let me check the map a little. Hmm. One, two, three. Do you get a choice? A big ball. What the? Allow me to introduce the rules of this challenge to you. There are a total of three stages up ahead, each with their own challenges. The enemies you will contend against are antagonists from the film Once Upon a Time in Dreams. Defeat them swiftly and decisively to set a new record. It's worth mentioning that the fastest time at this stage was achieved by a contestant with fiery red hair. Astoundingly, oh, no. he overcame all enemies across the three stages in only five minutes. Hmm. Time is of the essence. Let's make this quick. Oh. Contestants, you are about to confront the monsters of the primordial dreamscape. During this period, Penacony was nothing but a barren wasteland. The dreamscape was fraught with strife and disorder, with memory zone memes running rampant. As dream chasers who've come to Panacone, defeating them is your first step towards success. Oh, the soul glad is ours! Don't even think about plundering the soul glad from us! Great we 10 out of 10 to voice act. What are those? Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Nice teamwork. Time for a bow. <laughs> Not a scratch. This combat needs optimizing. <laughs> this is double speed. What the? Did they explode? Lance at the ready. Press him inside. Lance ablaze. Lance forward. Can I have fun this time? Time for a fun. <laughs> Was that in under five minutes? So glad! My so glad! 
pretty simple. <laughs> I just hope these tests don't take too long. Congratulations on becoming the first group of dream chasers! Answering the call from the watchmaker, you are disappointed to learn that Panacone isn't paved with gold! Resigned to your current plight, you start from the hierarchical dredges, biding your time for a chance at success. Just as you're about to give up, a downpour sparks a business idea. You enter the umbrella business! And just as things are looking up, you encounter a competitor. Defeat them and emerge victorious from this trade war. I is our opponent so glad because this is so glad enterprises 33rd festivity auditions of the 20th season isn't this just product placement to safeguard the integrity of soul glad i will soar high into the sky and become its shiniest star whoosh 10 out of 10 acting That needs up. This is double speed. Time for a bug <laughs> to travel far away. Nice teamwork. Stand down. Be revealed in lunar flame. This combat needs optimizing. <laughs> this is double speed. Nowhere to run. <laughs> Lance ablaze. Lance forward. Travel far <laughs> Nice teamwork. Okay, no TX. Congratulations to our two dream chasers for establishing yourselves as budding stars in Pentagoni. However, now you face a competitor selling at low prices, pushing you to the brink of bankruptcy. No matter how lengthy the battle, you always persevere. Topple this powerful opponent, and the tides will turn, paving a way to success! None will take my soul glad away from me. I will use the transmutation arcanum to turn into a dinosaur! Roar! Oh, dinosaur, devour my enemies! Roar! Grab a bottle of soul glad and make your dreams a <laughs> blast! Mm -hmm. Why not? Stay calm, Links. Deep breath. Nice 
nice teamwork. Huh. More enemy. Time for a bun. <laughs> Lance ablaze. Lance forward. This combat needs optimizing. <laughs> this is double speed. <laughs> Okay. Ugh, gotta stop the bleeding. Specimen inside.ed You took the bait. Time for a buzz. <laughs> okay. Tedious. Blade of moonlight. All will be revealed. In lunar flame. Lance ablaze! Lance forward! You took the bait. Time for a buzz. <laughs> That needs a. <laughs> this is double speed. Time for a buzz. <laughs> Ready for death. <laughs> the body withers, but the soul glad name shall not. Ah, you truly are a beast. More than I can ever be. Should do it. Okay, let's go. Mr. Gang is waiting for us. Huh? Waiting where? Wait, Isn't aren't this we? Way off from the actual storyline. Wait, aren't we supposed to meet with Himeko and Will? Transforming into a dinosaur isn't imaginative enough for you. This is the sort of magic only seen on Penacony. Anyway, let's get back on track. Where were we? Oh, that's right. After an extended battle, you finally emerged victorious! But the companion who journeyed to Penicone with you chose to leave, having lost all hope. Okay, why now? In the years that followed, you encountered each other once more on the prosperous streets of Penicone, but dared not call out to one another. Perhaps akin to the lingering regret of every dream chaser. Oh, well done! You brought to life the thrilling action scenes from Once Upon a Time in Dreams with your fighting skills. Looks like we won! Huh. Let's hurry up and get to the next stage. You know, I'm kind of happy I didn't pick up action. Oh, hello, chest. And what is that? A niece? A magic niece. 